from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb. Coming up, some very simple ways to give back beyond sending a donation. And what you can do as a family to help raise generous kids. It's so important. Yes. Our world's going to be over if we don't start raising don't generous be kids. I'm gonna, we're going to tell you how to do it. Over. It's, 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 not it's over. over. If you don't start teaching our kids no. how to be loving after your local news. Yes, hold up. We're back with more of our special Giving Back edition of today, and one family is doing just that in their hometown of College Station, Texas. That's right. The Cunningham family created a donation program of books and blankets for low-income students. Here's their story. My name is Melissa Cunningham, and three years ago, my family and I started our Books in a Blanket drive. We were trying to brainstorm ways to impact our community, and our daughters, Harper and Maggie, suggested donating books to local kids who may not have them at home. Maggie decided she wanted to include a blanket in the giveaway as well, and our program was born. We started collecting small plastic crates and filled each one with 10 to 15 donated books and a warm blanket. The idea is that when the crate is turned to one side, it looks like a small library, so children can bring it with them anywhere. To date, we've donated over 400 cartons containing about 6,000 books. Now, different cities have heard about our drive and have started doing the same thing in their own community. We're currently working on becoming a formal nonprofit and hope to continue the Books in a Blanket drive for years to come. Wow, Gold and I are so impressed. We are. We're blown <laughs> away. <laughs> Melissa Cunningham is here with her daughters, 10 year old Harper and 9 year old Maggie. And Mary Giles is the deputy editor of Family Fun Magazine, which honored the Cunninghams in its 2014 National Volunteer Contest. Well, hi, girls. Congratulations, ladies. You were very young when this idea came to you. Why? What, what happened to make the idea come about? Yeah, Harper. Harper? Um, well, we wanted to do a family project, and I knew that some of the kids at school didn't have very many books. Yeah. So I wanted to give them books. And my sister Maggie also knew that they didn't have much warmth. Yeah. So she so decided blankets, to huh? put blankets in too. Wow. What a great combination. Cool. So did you ever get to see any of the families who got your, your books and your blankets, Maggie? Um, well, we sometimes we got to go to the schools where we gave out the um, crates, uh -huh. but sometimes we wouldn't. We yeah. Yeah. almost never saw a whole family. Okay. But you know they're out there, don't you? Melissa, well, so what did you do to raise these girls? <laughs> what was it? What did you do? I don't know that I can say any one thing. Yeah. I think as a family we try to give back, and then this was just a, just a small project. It was supposed to be tiny and then it has just exploded I think because the concept is so simple that mm -hmm. people are enthusiastic about it and they can see that it can make a difference. And so many people have books that are just sitting, sitting around. around that could be a great blessing to well, someone that yeah. has nothing. Yeah. I feel like we're co connecting the dots. We're yeah. connecting the dots between children who don't have them and, and adults well, me who and have Kath, an extra. Me and Kath are beaming but there's one guy who's beaming even more than us. Your dad, dad your husband's sure. over there. We just want to point that he's he's here too. We don't know why he wasn't invited to the panel. <laughs> <laughs> but he's but, in the doghouse. So You're there over there. there. <laughs> now, Mary, you chose this family, obviously. Yeah. Tell us what made them stand out above some of the others. Well, we were looking for projects that were creative and that involved the entire family. Yeah. But the Cunningham's project really stood out, not only for the scope of what they've done. They've donated more than 6,000 books, as you've heard them say, yeah. but also because of how much Maggie and Harper are involved. Mm -hmm. They're out there. Uh, collecting the books, giving speeches, and hosting blanket making parties what? for members of the community and for their friends. Wow. They really are inspiring to show how much of a difference kids can make when it comes to helping others. And Harper, how has this changed your life, knowing you're helping that many kids? Well, it makes me feel fortunate that I have all the things that I need, and it makes me feel good giving to other kids. Oh my gosh. You now, too, Meg? Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> she's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, a lot of parents are watching this and they want their kids to be like 
these great kids. Yeah. Are there any, uh, is there any common thread you're seeing? Because you've obviously chosen other families. How do you take a kid, and most kids are a little, I hate to say it, but sort of self-absorbed, worried about where they're going and what they're doing. How, how can they change into kids like this? Well, that's true. And volunteering really does help teach your kids gratitude and compassion yeah. and responsibility. I think one thing you can do is sit down as a family and talk about a cause that the whole family yeah. would be interested in volunteering Get and push together. Because yeah. uh -huh. you want to find a cause your kids are interested in. And often that does involve helping other other kids so so agree on a cause together as a family and don't be afraid to start small because yeah. often that is what holds a lot of people back from volunteering is you're worried about fitting it into your schedule so you know once a month or whatever you can fit into your schedule I know there are a lot of other families that you honored and those will be in your <laughs> magazine right. you no, guys this is awesome thank you so congrats there's a wonderful scripture that says little as much when God is in it or something yeah. like it's not yeah. a scripture it should be <laughs> okay